Good afternoon. I'm Senator McCain from Arizona, uh, Senator Brasso from Wyoming, and Senator Hoven from North Dakota. And we are here on a trip to the Baltics and to Moldova, and with a stop in Norway. Uh, we just had a very excellent meeting with the President where the major topic, obviously, was the crisis in Ukraine and uh, what uh, the Russians are doing as we speak and what their intentions are. We share the President's concern about further actions on the part of Vladimir Putin, both in Ukraine, Moldova, and perhaps even in the Baltic uh, countries. We agree that it's important to send a strong message to Vladimir Putin that a violation of Article 5 of the NATO Charter would be viewed very seriously and its attack on all members of NATO. We continue to be concerned about his activities in Ukraine, and we are concerned about the security of Moldova. We're very proud that our U.S. Air Force aircraft were here uh, in, in a matter of hours and uh, we visited the base there and met with our pilots and the, uh, and the military there. And uh, we're very impressed with their professionalism and glad we were able to help. And we agree we need more military exercises uh, here in this country with between yourselves and the United States. Uh, it's good to be here. We were very impressed with our uh, discussion. Uh, with the president of uh, Lithuania, uh, very impressed with the discussion. Um, we think that the response to what Putin is doing needs to be a united response to the United States and the European Union and NATO. Uh, we also discussed the importance of energy as part of a response working uh, with our allies here in Europe to develop uh, energy for Europe um, uh, outside of Russia. We think that the response has to be strategic and that we have to work together uh, to, to respond to the type of uh, aggression we're seeing uh, from uh, Russia and President Putin. Uh, I also want to echo uh, our appreciation, not only for our Air Force uh, here, uh, but also we were very impressed with the joint operations at your air base. And uh, that's exactly how NATO is supposed to work. And uh, so we want to emphasize that as well, our joint uh, operations together and uh, the united front that we have uh, in NATO. Senator. I'm John Barrasso from Wyoming. The three of us had been uh, in Ukraine uh, just a few weeks ago to meet with the leadership there. We're very concerned about what Vladimir Putin continues to do uh, even today. We had a very productive meeting with the president uh, here in Lithuania. Obviously, she is very decisive as well as direct. We had a frank meeting about interacting with uh, Putin's activities as well as issues long term uh, for uh, energy security, energy stability, and energy affordability, which involves working our way in, in Eastern Europe as well as Central uh, Europe away from a dependence on Russia's energy where Putin continues to use both the carrot and the stick of either cheap or expensive energy to uh, force on others his political will, and that must be stopped. Questions? Mr. Senator, could Lithuania expect more U.S. presence and, and, and boots on the ground here in this region? I am convinced and certain that we will and can have more military cooperation, not obviously permanent basing but rotation of troops and military exercises. Yesterday in Estonia, we watched a joint uh, live fire exercise with Estonian and U.S. Marines. That kind of cooperation and military exercise, I am confident we will do much more of. Mr. Senator, do you think that Lithuania should spend more money on its budget on defense? Uh, we have stressed uh, both in Estonia and here, we believe it's important that as quickly as possible that Lithuania reach 2% of GDP to be spent on defense. We think it's very important as a statement 
uh, their commitment to NATO, but also in these very difficult times that it is entirely appropriate that they reach the 2% uh, spending on defense as quickly as possible. Mr. Senator, do you have comment on today's event in Eastern Ukraine and what should be the response to that? It's, uh, it's predicted, it's predictable. Uh, the response to Vladimir Putin's behavior has been almost laughable. Uh, the only thing that Vladimir Putin understands is strength, and there has been the weakest response imaginable, sanctioning a few people in one bank, and I'm very, very concerned about this fomenting of uh, violence in eastern Ukraine. I also worry about Moldova uh, and the security of that country, and unless the Europeans and the United States take much stronger action, I believe that Mr. Putin will feel bolder. The fact that the United States will not give defensive weapons to Ukraine, including body armor, night goggles, jet fuel, spare parts, in fact, we will not even give that in fear of provoking Vladimir Putin only encourages Vladimir Putin. The fact that we will not assist the Ukrainian government and people after they have been invaded by Vladimir Putin is shameful. Mr. Thank you. Senator, Thank you. No more questions. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I'm sorry. One more question on the, on the energy security. When we would expect to shield gas in Europe? We're working very hard on that right now. And again, as I said at the outset, we're very impressed uh, with your president because she has taken action right here in Lithuania to develop the infrastructure so that you can get LNG, natural gas, from sources other than Gazprom, and also electricity. So within one year, you're talking about being able to get gas from other sources, and within a year and a half to two years, electricity. That's a very important part of your national security, is having that energy security. Okay.